Hello beautiful people, you're welcome back to the TDJ Show Time with Dr. Josephine. On this episode, you're going to talk about hemorrhoids, what we normally call PALS or COCO. So PALS or hemorrhoids is a disease of the inner rectal region. When we talk about the inner rectal region, what are we talking about? You're talking about the inner and then the rectum. So you know the lower parts of the intestine that opens to the anus, which is the opening, the area, the opening where the feces comes out. That is the anus, okay? And then the last part, the last part of the intestine, the large intestine that finally opens into the anus is the rectum. So it's the disease of that region. Now, there's something there, the hemorrhoidal venous cushions. There are some vessels that come together to form something that looks like cushions in those areas it is natural we are born with it and everybody has it unless you have had a surgery to remove it it's very natural so we have these cushions or blood vessels that come together to form these cushions in our rectal region and when they get engorged that is when they get swollen then they form this you know the hemorrhoidal diseases pals that we know so hem the hemorrhoidal cushions are normal but when they get enlarged or inflamed or maybe something happens to them a blood vessel blocks it or something that's when we see it as a disease because it shows itself for us to know that something is happening so everybody has it just that sometimes issues can come with it and then you end up having this condition that's that we call hemorrhoids so what causes it Okay, so we don't have direct causes of these hemorrhoids. We usually have risk factors. And the commonest is constipation. See, so when you, you constipate most of the time and you are straining, so the pressure, you know, on these vessels can cause it to engorge, you know, or in, when it's already engorged, it can cause trauma to it. And then you start bleeding from an engorged hemorrhoid. So constipation is one of the causes. Pregnancy. Most pregnant women realize that they develop these things and after they deliver it goes back so usually we attribute it to the hormonal changes and the weight of the uterus on it that is what makes most of them start experiencing these hemorrhoids and obesity in one way can affect a certain disease like liver con when you have a, a like you know a liver disease or a cirrhosis of the liver sometimes you can have varices of that region so we have this dilated blood vessels that bleed easily so that people will start bleeding and then other lifestyle changes so all these things they predispose you they put you at risk but not directly causing it so that the fact that means that the fact that you have constipation doesn't mean that automatically you are going to get it the fact that you are pregnant doesn't mean you are going to but it puts you at risk of these conditions so how does it manifest so most of the time when these cushions you know um, get enlarged or engorged with blood vessels. The slightest irritation can make it bleed. So most people start bleeding. You realize that when you go to the washroom and you try to put in, you see blood. The blood is usually bright red because it's coming from the arches. So bright red blood coming out and then entering the toilet bowl. Most people experience that. Some people today realize there's a prolapse. So when it gets too engorged and swollen, what holds it down becomes weak. So then it easily comes out. So they realize that when they go to the washroom and they are using the loo, then it is coming out of it. Some of it has even already come out of it. Sometimes some come and then when they finish pulling, then it goes back. We'll talk about how we grade them. So that is how some people get to know they have hemorrhoids. And the ones that come out, sometimes they can itch. Sometimes it will be very painful. Sometimes it produces mucus that can soil your panties. So those are the various ways it can manifest itself. So it is not one. Some can have one of it or some can have both of it at the same time. These are all various ways you can have it. Now, one thing about these diseases, it is not the only thing that causes disease of the area. Most people think that the moment something comes out of your anus, that means you have um, hemorrhoids or you are bleeding. You have, no, we have several diseases 
we have rectal prolapse, we have some CA, like cancers of that region. There are several, we have anal fissure that can fissure that can give you pain. So the fact that you have pain, the fact that you are bleeding, the fact that you feel something that doesn't mean you have hemorrhoids. So you're supposed to go to your doctor. Your doctor will take a history, ask you certain questions. We also tell the doctor what you experience. The doctor will now examine you, even put a finger through your anus to feel the area and also see what is in the area. And then lastly, we may do a colonoscopy, not the full colonoscopy, but based on your history, it can just be an endoscopy that looks at just the anus or a sigmoidoscopy. It goes to, it goes farther than just the inner region or a colonoscopy, one that looks at your whole large bowel to see exactly what the problem is. So don't assume that anytime you see it is hemorrhoids. No, it can be something else. So you go to your doctor, your doctor will now investigate it and will conclude whether it is a hemorrhoid or it is something else. Now, how do we treat hemorrhoids? The treatment differs. Sometimes you don't have to do anything. Sometimes all the doctor will tell you is you have to eat, you know, food that contains fiber fruits and other things so that you won't have constipation and you have free bowel we tell you to have warm bath to soothe the area or we can tell you that you know give you medication that will make sure that your poopoo is always you know not hard or to cause to trigger or to cause the area to be more painful or to make you strain them more but it's too softener that will make you poopoo easily you know, or sometimes we give you something for pain. If you bled a lot and then we need to give you something to treat, you know, for the anemia and the loss of blood, we'll give it to you. So based on how you present, it'll tell us how we will treat you. Now, there are some cases that based on how you, you may need medication. Some people, sometimes we don't give you medication. We'll tell you to change a few things like your diet, drink lots of water, all these things. Sometimes we'll give you medication. But when it is very bad and it is worrying you, then we may have to do surgery. So the treatment is in phases based on the extent, the severity, and how it bothers you. They will tell your doctor how the doctor should treat you. Now, as I was saying, there are some grace in the hemorrhoids. When it is there, but you don't feel anything, maybe it is trying to protrude slightly, but then you are bleeding or you are showing signs of it, then that means yours is grade one. In grade two, the, the thing is coming out of your inner region when you are trying to use the washroom, when you are pulling. But the moment you finish, it goes back on its own. That is grade two. Grade three, it will come out when you are pulling. But then you have to use your finger to push it back. If you don't push it back, it can't go back on its own. That is grade three. And grade four, it is out. You can't push it back. It is always there. Whether you like it or not, it is always there. Now, we've talked about some of the signs and symptoms of the hemorrhoids. We've spoken about how sometimes we go about to diagnose it. We've spoken about the complication and the treatment modalities, and then we talked about the grading. So, my dear um, people, beautiful people, please, if you have any of these signs, anything that has to do with your anal or your rectal region, please go to your doctor. Let's find out whether it is hemorrhoids or not. Remember, hemorrhoid is not the only thing that can cause bleeding or pain in your inner region. Other things, even cancer, some types of cancers can cause that. So go to your doctors, get diagnosed so that we can treat you and know that the treatment depends on the severity and how it is advanced. The fact that you have doesn't mean you have surgery. The fact that you have it doesn't mean that just medicine will go. Based on how you are presenting and how you are feeling, the doctor will decide which one is best for you. Thank you very much for listening to the TDJ Show. Stay tuned. Don't miss any of our episodes. We have our numbers down there on the screen. You can pick it, contact us, WhatsApp us. If you have any questions, if you have, need any clarification, you can comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to address all your questions and all your comments as well if need be. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.